Hi guys, it's Dakota. I hope everybody's doing well. And behind the scenes here uh, for the time being, as you see right now, I have a candle burning and this is an actual spell work that I am doing. I had not intended to do, well, I let me, let me start over. I had intended to do this step-by-step -step process and do this spell with you and show you and spirit sort of stopped me and said no and so then i went ahead and i did the spell myself and put my own two cents everything that i needed to do into it and once it was done and i lit the flame and i started meditating with it and rethinking everything that i was doing and what my end result was you know what i wanted for my end result and all, all, everything that I do. Uh, Spirit then came in and said, now is the time to show this, and but I don't show my private work. So I kind of struggled a little bit with it. But the process, the thing is, is that this is already done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over exactly what I did here. And without going so much into the intention, I'm going to go a little bit into it just so that you'll know. Um, but uh, I just want to explain what I did here. And you can do it yourself. Now, um, this right here, this jar candle, these are called seven day candles. There's 14 day candles. There's all different uh, hour candles, but this particular one is a seven day candle and it's orange. And I am using this particular candle for as a road opener. Now a road opener is just that it's um, spell work to open the road or open the path. And what does that mean? If you imagine yourself driving down the street and then having something in the road that's blocking you, say a tree fell or maybe there's a, a roadblock, you know, an actual construction roadblock and you, you can't go forward. So then you're going to have to detour and go all the way around or you're going to have to wait or uh, and it's really urgent that you get through. So that's kind of what the road opener candle does is it removes the obstacle that's in the way so that you can move forward. They're also used for helping things manifest a little bit quicker. So I don't do a whole lot of road opener candle work. I do use as we know if you've watched any of my videos i do use chicory root in almost all of my spell work whether it's road opener or not because chicory root being a road opener my own personal feeling on spell work is that if i have to do spell work there must be an obstacle there's a reason why i'm not able to uh, get the end result that i want or I want to remove the obstacle so that I can get that a little bit quicker. Not in a greedy, selfish way, but because let's just say it was, um, I was doing a spell for, I don't know, something. What It could be anything. I mean, it could be anything. Seriously, it could be prosperity. It could be job. It could be getting a house. It could be love. It could be, I have a customer who used road opener for fertility to remove the obstacles that was keeping her from getting pregnant. And um, so really anything that you can think of road opener for me, at least, is a really awesome thing to use. And like I said, oops, you can uh, use it to help move things along a little bit quicker, remove the obstacle quicker so that you can get to that end result. Um, so anyway, but. Uh, this particular thing I've been working on for quite a while now, not quite a while, but I've worked on it for a few months and it is a slow process and is it is getting, so here's what happens with me is that it's getting, I want to say that it's moving along at a slow pace, but what, and I'm okay with that because this has nothing to do with finances, with getting pregnant, with, with anything that is urgent. And what it does is, let, let me go back just a little bit further, I'm sorry. 
I also, when I'm working with Road Opener, I work with Ganesha. I don't know if you know Ganesha. Um, and I, I work with Ganesha a lot, or Ganesh sometimes he's known as. And you may know him to be the, um, it's the Hindu elephant. Let me pull him out here. I don't have his statue in here because it's just so heavy. I just left it upstairs in the devotion room. But um, there he is. Okay, so he is, Ganesha is a remover of obstacles. And I do work with him quite often. And so um, that's who I call on a lot when I need things, you know, opened. Even if I'm doing witchcraft, I still will use Ganesha as an assistant to help. Now, the thing with Ganesha is, and this is what I'm talking about, how this is moving along, but it's a little bit slower than maybe even a seven day. Um, and, and this is the first time I've used a seven day candle. I've used a lot of road opener things and different types of spell work, but this is the first time I'm, I'm using this. And again, I just want to say that I don't mind that the process is taking longer, and this is why. Ganesha is not only a remover of obstacles, but he also puts obstacles, whoo, almost blew up candle. He also puts obstacles in front of us um, so that we can work on them and come to understand what the obstacle is and then overcome them, if that makes sense. So a lot of times the obstacles, we might do spell and the spell, and it might work. And then it's temporary and we haven't really learned anything. So what Ganesha does a lot of times is he puts an obstacle in front of us and makes us work through it and overcome it. And every time you overcome it, you gain knowledge and you gain wisdom and you gain strength. So that is kind of one of the reasons I like to work with him is it's not just a quick fix. You know, it's not just that I'm going to do this road opener and boom, you know, hopefully everything will get done is sometimes with Ganesha, he is, I might, you know, say, okay, and, and say I'm working right now a candle with Ganesha and the, the message from him is that I placed the obstacle and it is up to you. This is not going to work until you get the message. You have to get the wisdom. You have to get the message. And I, I, I love that for one. So um, I don't want to have to keep repeating a spell over and over and over and over and over again and keep getting the same obstacle over and over and over and over again. And I see that happen a lot, and especially at the store. Um, I see, you know, I see that happen a lot with, with people coming in and they're having an issue with this or with that. And they try this and they try that and they do this and they do that but they never really get the whole lesson and I, I really enjoy getting the lesson. It's kind of like, and I, I do tell my students and I tell my clients with tarot, it's like, um, so you've probably heard this before if you're one of my clients or one of my students, and that is, you know, when you're learning to ride a bicycle, you and say to all your friends, they all know how to ride their bikes except for you. And so you get on your bike and the first thing that happens is you fall down and you skin your knees and, but you know, out of frustration and it hurt and your knees are bloody and your friends are like, well, are you going to go with this? Or are you going to sit there and cry about it? So what you do is you figure out, you learn how to ride that bike. You figure out the balance and you figure out how the momentum and you figure out all of that so that you can go hang out with your friends. So the lesson is learned there. You fell, you had to fall and skin your knees and then you pick yourself up and now you get it and you're able to move forward. That's what I love about working with Ganesha. Um, so yes, yeah, so I do use Ganesha for road opener. All right, but as far as working with the seven day candle, specifically for road opener, I don't do that often. I do it, but not that often. However, I do use the road opener, uh, I'm sorry, the chicory root 
in a lot of my spell work for that reason. It helps to remove the obstacle. It helps to bring me clarity. That's just how I feel about it. All right, so what I did here was um, I have some other stuff that's going on. I have some stuff that's been going on and uh, that I have been working with, working through. I've been working through it. Some of it does have to do with shadow work and the more I work on it and the longer the process takes, the more I get it. The more I get it, okay? So, I decided to try this today because I've not done the road opener candle work with this issue that I'm working on. So this is what I'm doing today. So what I did was, the first thing I did was I used the orange candle. Now, uh, we do have road opener specific candles at the store that are road opener. And they're just like this, but they're, they have stencils on the glass. Now, I didn't have, we're out of them. We're out of them. <laughs> um, but I did bring this one in just to show you. Okay, so this has nothing to do with what I'm working on today, okay? I just brought this to show you what I'm talking about. This is a reversible candle, and see how it's stenciled? And it even tells you that it's a double action reversible candle, and it tells you that it's reversible on the back. This particular candle is red over black. I prefer black over red, but that's what they had uh, this time around. And so that is what we got. And as a witch, you're going to work with what you have. All right. So what I want to talk about on these stencil candles is please don't forget that when you purchase these in your metaphysical store, uh, let me just speak of my store. We do not. These come from a distributor, from a supplier. And when these come in, we buy them by the, uh, you know, by bulk. Um, they, they come to us already sealed up in a cardboard box and they're already poured into these stenciled uh, glass vessels. Now, these have not, I'm assuming, I can only assume, I'm not there so I don't know, but I have a feeling that these have not, and even if they are, I have a feeling that these are not blessed. I have a feeling that these are mass produced uh, because every single one we have looks exactly like this. They're not fixed. They're not dressed. Um, it's just a, a, a seven day candle that comes in like this and they all look the same maybe at the end of the production line maybe there's a priest who blesses them i don't know i don't work there but i can only assume that they are not they are made in a factory they come down a conveyor belt they go inside of a box the box gets sealed and they ship them off to the store the store opens them and puts them out on their shelf so when you get these candles and even if there is a priest at the end of the at the end of the line if there is a priest and he's blessing everything and he's saying whatever he says i don't know him i don't know what his intentions are i don't know if he follows the same path that i do and i don't know if his words are the same words that i would choose so regardless if it's blessed or not blessed when i get those candles home I cleanse them and I dress them and I bless them and I do whatever I need to do with them to make them mine with my energy using my intention. All right. So when I got the seven day candle, I chose the solid orange. Orange is success. I want a successful outcome of this work that I'm doing. I want it to be successful. So orange is about success. Um, oranges can also be about creativity and um, orange is your um, sacral uh, chakra, which is right below the belly button. And so it's really a, a working energetic color if we're talking about colors all right so what i did was the first thing i did i decided to use orange blossom water you've all seen these before and you all know that i do things 
different all the time. But I took the orange blossom water and I literally washed the outside of this jar. I washed the inside rim of the jar, the bottom of the jar, and also the candle wax. I put a couple drops in there and I, I washed the candle wax. Anything that was exposed got washed with the orange blossom water because and this is actually not water it's a um perfume i believe yeah, it's a cologne i call them waters and um but anything that was expo exposed including the wick i washed because i again i don't know who touched it i don't know what energy it may have picked up but what i do know is i want a fresh start orange blossom to match the orange uh, candle so that we're we're trying to keep the colors all that correspondence together plus orange blossom smells delicious <laughs> so the whole outside of this everything that was exposed the bottom the candle itself the wick the inside of the jar and the outside of the jar has been washed with my orange blossom and all I did was and I threw them away already I put them on a little uh, I poured some on a paper towel and I just scrubbed the heck out of it whoa scrubbed the heck out of it and uh, including the inside you know I just wiped it down with the paper towel and the inside of the um, the glass as well once it was dried the next thing I did was I took my um, this little screwdriver which is what I uh, was using to carve my candles with, to inscribe on my candles. I This was metal. Typically, I use, I like to use, I have a, this is a um, uh, shish kebab. Shish kebab. You like to say that word? Shish kebab. <laughs> this, was a, this is a wooden shish kebab uh, skewer and I use these they're really cheap you can get them for like a dollar uh, go to the dollar store and there's like a whole a big package of them for uh, you know for a dollar and uh, they're really good they're pointy so you can carve into your candle and then the bottom is flat so that helps uh, push things in which I'm going to show you here in a minute however this wax is kind of hard so what I did I have some metal skewers but I couldn't find them I don't know where they are um, probably upstairs anyway I have this uh, metal screwdriver it's just a little screwdriver a little tiny one and I um, heated up the point and all I do with this is inscribe in my candle so I felt it was perfectly okay it's a tool that I use um, I heated up the point, this whole thing, and then what I did was, I took my candle, I'm just going to show you this one, I took my candle, took my point, and at the top of the candle, I pushed down. I pushed down into the wax, and I made three holes. I made three holes. I pushed it down, I reheated it, I made another hole pushed it down and I kind of wiggled it around a little bit I pushed it down and then I wiggled it around to kind of make a bigger hole and I did that three times so now in the top of my candle right here I had three holes three holes in there then what I did was I took my now obviously and I do inscribe on candles I, I practice that where did I, I just lost my little candle thing. Where did it go? Anyway, um, I do, uh, I like to inscribe on my candles, but how are you going to inscribe on this? It's glass. So what I did was I took my trusty uh, Sharpie permanent marker. And as you can see, I wrote just a few things on the outside of my candle I just wrote on there you can also um, I'm sitting right here where could that be bizarre okay well it's gone oh here it is <laughs> um, you can also inscribe 
on the top of your candle if you want but it's kind of hard to do once you have your holes in there so you have to um, be careful with that if you're going to inscribe on the uh, on the candle itself but since there was nowhere to inscribe I just took the sharpie and I put my sigil and I marked just a couple of words just a couple of words all right then what I did was I took my um, I mean everything is everywhere I took my road opener oil which is somewhere and I um, put well it looks like this it comes in a little bottle you've seen my oils and what I did pretend this is oil <laughs> I took some drops of oil and I put drops in each of those holes so you're going to drop oil in each of those holes that you that you push to the top of your candle and then I took the chicory root and I sprinkled some chicory root on top of those three holes then I took my little flat part of my shish kebab skewer and I poked the herbs down into the holes where the oil was okay and that's what you can kind of see I think you can kind of see burning on top there hopefully you can see it that brown that's the chicory root all right so the candle has been cleansed it, I have inscribed it with my sigils and a couple words, just two words, which is inner connection and punched, put or melted three holes in the top, put oil in there and put the chicory root in there. Don't forget, there is a symbol that I put also on the bottom of this candle. You may put whichever you want if you want you don't have to I did it's on the bottom of this candle which I'm not going to reveal to you all right then I wrote out a petition and you know I write my petitions on paper bags brown paper bags I tear them I just tear them and I write my petition I make sure it's exactly what I want. Make sure your words are very clear as to what the final outcome, what your end result, what you would like it to be. Who is it affecting? Are those the right exact words? So I wrote the petition and there it is. I put it underneath my little saucer here. This is that <clears throat> little fortune telling saucer. I like it. I put it under there and I place my candle on top of the saucer. All right. Underneath this orange peels, you can see some herbs. What that is, is orris root. This is orris root. Orris root is good for love and it's also good for success. Now, why love? Well, or uh, I'm sorry, it's for healing and healing, love and success. So the fact that it was healing, this has to do with some self healing um, and self love. Look, there's nothing to be ashamed of with self love. We need to love and care about ourselves and there's nothing wrong with that so i liked that that's what this was about and so um i need some water right here wash my hand off real quick so um i circled the candle with the orris root so i have healing love self-healing self-love and it's also success because I want this spell to be successful. Then I took an orange 
I like working with orange and lemon peel. But I used orange because of the color correspondence, because of success, because of the sweetness of the orange. That's that's for me the sweet the sweetness of um, what I'm trying to manifest here, as well as it corresponds with the orange blossom wash that I used. And I just took the orange peel and I laid it around on top of the orris root. I also took part of the orange, the actual orange itself, and I squirted some of the orange juice on top of the candle. Again, that was more of an offering to the spirits, where uh, the elemental spirits um, of earth, air, fire, and water. Remember, if you go back to the element ritual series, if you start with the first one and watch them all up into the ritual, you'll see how it all binds together. And that's what I'm using here. I've got earth, air, fire, and water going. It is helping me. And so as an offering specifically to the elements, I gave them some squeeze of orange juice right into here and I can smell it. It smells really good. Okay. I have my slate um, little tile, I guess. It's a slate tile. I have come to adore this thing. I absolutely love the energy of slate. We are out of it now. I'm trying to get some more. Long story, you'll have to go back and watch some of the videos. But what I did, I love the energy of this slate. So what you can see here, I have crossroads with lemon balm. And lemon balm is also good for healing and also very, very good source for success. So I laid my candle and my workings in the middle of the crossroads. And at that point, I took the road opener oil. I took the road opener oil. I dabbed some on my hand, rub my hands together, just really, really rub them together until you start to feel that energy. You'll feel it. You'll, your hands will just start becoming electric and then I of course I lit my flame and then I just held the energy as long as I could until my hands stopped um, tingling and feeling that energy and now I will leave this candle burning uh, for however long I feel I probably will not um, burn this you know 24 7 until it burns out I am going to keep it here in the cottage which I typically don't do my spell work here but because this was for me and because I wanted to show it um, I'm and because this is so now the energy that I worked is within the cottage I'm actually going to leave it here and um, I will probably um, put that on the uh, hi I'll probably put that on the altar over there. I have a space ready for it right there. I'll put that over there and as long as I'm out here, um, I will leave it burning. And when I'm done, when it's done and I feel that the magic is done, then I'm going to take the herbs, the oranges and uh, the herbs, and I'll take them down to our crossroads here on the land and uh, leave those offerings, you know, for, for the spirits. Now, in addition to that, um, while I was sitting here, after I, I did my hands and I was, you know, just really focusing on the energy and focusing on the intention, what, you know, I wanted to make it clear, even though I wrote my, my petition out and it took me a while, it takes me a while to write my petitions because I write them out and it all sounds good until I, I start to dissect it and I go, oh, you know, well, if, if that happens, I wonder what this, what would happen with this then. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm perfectly clear. So I was sitting here with, you know, just doing my sending the magic in 
and um, I decided to, I have the uh, Seasons of the Witch Oracle deck, it's out here in the cottage, and so I just thought, well, I'm going to let that burn a while, and I, I just want to be in the energy. You know, not, I don't obsess about my magic. So, I mean, once I felt the energy was good through my hands, um, I put it right over there, right there where you see that empty spot. I put it over there. That's where it was before I did this video because Spirit is talking to me. I put it right over there, and it was burning. And so I wanted to just kind of be in the energy still. Um, I'm not going to sit here and just stare at the candle and keep a... Uh, um, you know, but before I leave, I will snuff it out and I will come back uh, either later today or tomorrow. I'll burn some more until I feel that the magic is done. And when the magic is done, I will take the offerings down to the crossroads. Well, so in the meantime, my my dearest, dearest friend uh, sent me had sent me this book. I've shared this with you before, Seasons of the Witch. It's an oracle, a Samhain oracle it's called, Samhain oracle. And I was just looking at the cards because they're so beautiful. I just love them. They're really, really beautiful. And uh, I was just looking at them and just kind of glancing through the book. And this one literally fell out of the deck when I was holding the deck. I wasn't shuffling it, but it just kind of, you know, as I was looking through the cards I was, and I'm holding the cards in my hand and I'm reading the book and one fell out. And this was it. Greet the darkness. Greet the darkness. And I'm like, well, of course I'm going to have to read it because um, I'll hold that up for a little bit. You know, I, I, I'm going to have to read it because it fell out. So what does that mean? You know, does that have to do with anything or was it just because I wasn't paying any, any attention? So I'm just going to read this to you and then we're going to be done. Um, so because synchronicities is everything. So like I said, um, I was doing this spell work and for a specific reason and and it does have to do with that hurt and a feeling of betrayal and being lied to and being taken advantage of having your knowledge being taken advantage of and then having that used you know having that used against you kind of thing and these are you know these are people that I know and trust and the whole nine yards so it was really you know it, it was it was hurtful and uh, but why did it bother me so much I don't know because as I think I mentioned in one of my videos one of my friends had mentioned to me why are you so upset about that would you want to go have coffee with any of them and you know have a relationship like a coffee you know have and I went no like and it wasn't so much because of what it what had transpired it was because they're not really my people, you know, so I didn't really quite understand it. But anyway, maybe this can clear it up and maybe this would help. Maybe this might help you and it might not have anything to do with anything. So this is I'm going to read this and then I'm going to be done. I just want to show you something else. While I was doing this, while I was doing this, when I first came in, the elemental, uh, the element ritual, I have been doing only a few hours at a time because I'm working that spell. You'll have to watch the series. So I'm still on that spell. So pardon the bare wall, but I'm just going to show you. There it is. Still working. And um, I'm, I'm digging it. <laughs> I'm digging it. I love it. I love it. Uh, I, I feel really, really good and really, really powerful about uh, what I did there and how how that all came to be so um, so that's a really good series you should watch it be patient uh, if you start to watch it be patient it all comes together uh, at the ritual uh, when, when I talk about the ritual the last one okay so the card I pulled what or I didn't pull it it fell out uh, what as I was holding the cards it's called greet the darkness And it says, oh, it says, um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Sorry. Okay. Darkness. 
you might get a sense of terror from what you can't see. But not all hidden things are bad. There are many things that you cannot see that hold the secret to life, abundance, and renewal. Like the lotus flower that blooms from the darkness of muddy waters, there is beauty in the darkness for those who know where to look with their heart. Pulling greet, pulling greet the darkness is a call to go deep into your dark corners. There are parts of you that are beautiful, yet remain undiscovered. You must allow yourself to open to the unknown. You can do this by confronting old, wo old wounds, lost memories, feelings of shame, guilt, and disappointment. This is called shadow work. So that's the only that, that's as far as I'm going to read because that said it all. It still had to do with shadow work, and that is something that I am willing. Like I said, talking about Ganesh, that is something that I am willing to work slowly on and process through because. I want to, because it gives me a better understanding. If I have a better understanding, then I won't repeat the same mistake twice. If I understand it, I won't repeat the same mistake. So, um, yeah, so it was, a, a, I loved it. I loved it. Anyway, I hope that you guys like this and we're getting closer and closer to doing the walkabout. And today would have been a great day, but I really wanted to do this for myself. I was going to do video tomorrow, but um, it is what it is, and it happened. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, the video is long, because they always are. If you liked it, subscribe. Um, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside when I get new subscribers. Uh, I don't make any money off of YouTube, so subscribing... It doesn't do anything like as far as putting any kind of money in my pocket or anything like that. It's just an acknowledgement for me that um, people have watched and people enjoyed and liked it. And then if you want to know when I uh, when I post videos, there's a little icon, I guess it's called. It looks like a little bell. If you click on that, then you get notif uh, you get notified or notification and notify I don't know anyway it lets you know when I post a video so um that's it yeah so I really enjoyed this I hope you did too um and I hope you got by me demonstrating with the other candle what I did with this candle because um it, like I said I I didn't I didn't plan on showing this uh and but apparently it was meant to be and but by this time i already had everything done and so i hope that everything made sense to you if it didn't please leave me a comment below um if you liked it leave a comment if you have a question leave a comment uh, i usually check um my little comments and stuff um every day every other day um, because I'm on YouTube a lot watching videos and stuff music and all of that so there you go I hope you enjoyed it and um, have a great week everyone love you see you next time bye